Even with Florida's latest surge of cases, Vice President Mike Pence came to Tampa today saying our state can handle the outbreak thanks to better treatment options and supplies. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is in downtown Tampa where the Vice President met with Bay Area health officials. Yeah, Jameson, it was a roundtable with the Vice President, Governor Ron DeSantis, and uh, health officials from hospitals around the Bay Area talking about how Florida is dealing with the coronavirus. Uh, the Vice President said the large number of cases in said Florida's hospitals are in good shape to handle all the new cases with more than 13,000 beds available and 5,500 available ventilators. He also said Florida has a huge supply of remdesivir, the drug that's been successful in treating those with COVID-19. Our objective is the health of the people of Florida and America. And secondly, is to is to uh, keep keep this economy moving forward so we can see more days like we saw today with nearly 5 million jobs created and getting our country back to work and back to school. Vice President Pence also said he's confident that the Republican National Convention will be a success in Jacksonville next month. He said there are sophisticated plans in place to keep people safe and healthy. Governor Ron DeSantis, meanwhile, did not take responsibility for the huge spike in cases in Florida. He said that Florida has a much lower death rate than other states that have smaller populations. Live in downtown Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.